สวัสดีครับ It's Thursday, July 5. I'm JP Mastanza, and this is Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now, here's the news you need to know. 1,400 methamphetamine tablets, or yaba, along with over 100 grams of crystal meth, they're all sitting in a locker at Gatu Police Station after they were found on a 37-year-old man during a routine search. A police checkpoint in Gatu on Thursday morning saw police carry out random checks, and they happened to found the right guy when they stopped 37-year-old Nippon Duang Chu, who had 1,427 yaba pills and 102.3 grams of ya ice. All nicely separated into carefully weighed out plastic bags. Along with the drugs, officers also found two 9 mm bullets, and they say he confessed that he had bought the drugs with the intent to resell them from the same guy, tipping police off to his dealer and processes. Nippon was arrested and charged. While the rescue operations commander in charge of leading the 12 boys out of the confined Chiang Rai cave says that he could not estimate how long before they would be extracted. His Majesty the King is stressing urgency. The 12 weekend boys, aged between 11 and 16 years old, along with their 25-year-old football coach, they were found safe in a remote part of Tam Luang Cave in Chiang Rai on Monday night after nearly 10 days of search operations by foreign and Thai rescue teams. Right now, Thai Navy SEAL teams are teaching the boys how to swim, and they're expected to learn how to dive as well. Since they are in a remote part of the cave with twisting passageways. Although they're also looking at the possibility of drilling through the cave ceiling to get them out. So far, water pumps are being used to reduce the water levels, which has been decreasing one centimeter per hour. But heavy rains continue to flood the area. Stay up to date with this story at thepuketnews.com. Police are admitting that gambling on the World Cup is bigger than ever in Thailand, as they've announced the arrest of 9,420 people and the seizure of 42 million baht in bets during the first three weeks of the event. The crackdown on football gambling, which began a week before the World Cup, had forced police to patrol all kinds of areas, including internet cafes, convenience stores, gold shops, banks, and more, all for the gamblers. The deputy national police chief says that they've already arrested 5,000 more people than the previous World Cup, mostly due to the fact that gamblers have so many more options to place their bets, both online and in person. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. For the fifth time in eight days, another villager has been seriously hurt when they stepped on a mine while working at a rubber plantation in Yala Province in the south of Thailand, and it happened again early this morning. The 3 a.m. blast took place in Yala's Muang district as a 47-year-old rubber tapper stepped on the homemade bomb buried at the foot of a rubber tree, wounding their face, hand, and right leg, according to Thai PBS News. Authorities believe a local militant group is behind not just this morning's explosion, but the previous incidents as well, which started last Thursday when the lower left leg of another rubber tapper was lost in that explosion. Plans are now being discussed for the Thai government to provide certified carers to nearly 300,000 bedridden people nationwide, most of whom are elderly patients. The plan was discussed last Thursday, according to reports, and it would require amending relevant laws and the investment of two billion baht per year to hire the certified carers. The whole thing is meant to improve welfare for the sick and elderly, while also creating jobs in the process, and would be under the auspices of the National Health Security Office. It's currently in the discussion phase right now. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. It's time to do something about your body. Get on track by learning your hidden numbers with Fit 3D Thailand, the most advanced body composition and posture analysis based on your own 3D avatar. It takes only 40 seconds. And within minutes, you'll have a detailed report that includes everything from your fat mass, lean mass, body measurements, posture analysis, balance, and much more. Track your progress with the most accurate Pro Scanner available. 
Visit or contact us today.